Hey guys, how's it going? This is Helpful Lockpicker here, and welcome back to this week's Locksport update. This is a very fun series that I run every single Saturday to try to help the community update on any of the things that I've been working on and anything that the community has been working on. As always, if you have any updates that you would like to see shared next week, please drop them in the comment section below, and let's get started with this week's Locksport update. Thank you guys so much for checking out this week's Locksport update. If you happen to be new here, thank you so much for checking this out and subscribing. Every subscription makes such a big difference and thank you so much for helping support my channel and all of the smaller channels out there. This is a really great community and I thank you so much for your support. So the first thing I'd like to start off this week is doing an unboxing. I have been waiting such a long time for two items and I cannot even tell you how excited I am for them. I have been waiting for the Silver Bullet. One from Huxley Pig and the other one from Lockfall.com. I am due to get the one from Huxley Pig in, in a few weeks. But what I have here is finally the silver bullet that Lockfall.com was able to make for me. And what I want to do is quickly get it open on camera so we can check it out for the very first time together. I am just so excited to have this box and you don't even know. I have been waiting such a long, long time and I just cannot wait to get started with these locks. All right, so pulling it out here, got one. And the rest is just packaging material. And try to be very careful here. Alright, so let's see this. I cannot even wait. Alright, there's the tip. So what I bought is the aluminum version of the silver bullet. Oh, there it is. And then he also sent me a, another tensioning tip, which should be in this package here, because he said that the original one had a few issues, and he wanted to make sure that I was getting the best quality that I could. So what we have in here is the secondary tensioner. So I just want to take a really quick look at this. I still need to learn more about how it works, but what I'd like to do is give you a really quick first look at it. So as you can obviously tell, this is a really beautifully made pick. He is starting to make them commercially so you can buy them. There is Huxley Pig's logo right on the bottom there, and that is a pretty cool finding to look at. And then you can see all the decoding marks, and there are very specific ways that this will line up with which disc you're on, and then I believe it will tell you what kind of cut your lock has so you can pick and decode at the same time. This is such a really cool tool, and I need to get much more familiar with it. Hey everybody. Hey helpful lock picker. Thanks for letting us stop by. This is Diggs from Lock Pickers United. And I'm just dropping in to let you guys know that we launched a video yesterday that has a giveaway of everything you see laid out here and a competition to win one of these silver bullets. So if you've got some time, drop on by, subscribe to our channel too, and uh, check us out. Thanks. But I just want to say that I am so excited to have this pick in. And I just want to say thank you to Lockfall.com for making it. And I'm certainly going to probably have quite a few questions getting started with this. But I am so excited to have this one come in. And then I am excited to have the one from Huxley Pig come in. But moving on on this week's Locksport update, I have a few things that I would like to share. The first thing is going to be, it seems like the consensus on my question last week is, should we do a top channel list? And it seemed like it was a overwhelming no. Some people were for it, but the major concern is people might feel alienated or isolated, and we're just here to have fun, and we do not want to put any strain on anyone in the community. But what I'd like to do here is just see what your thoughts are on that. You can vote yes, no, 
maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a card up on the top here that you can click on. You'll see it on the screen right now and you can vote if you think doing a countdown video would be something interesting but it would be something that I would want the community to put together for the list. Another thing that I'd like to share this week is going to be Lockmania. Lockmania has been doing every Saturday his Secret Agent Saturday. It is a video series where he picks open locks utilizing his James Bond set and then his jackknife set and it's been interesting watching him see what locks he can get into. If you're not familiar with Lockmania already, he's a really great guy and a great member of the community. He's always given me great information to share in these updates. I just want to say thank you so much for everything you do. If you'd like to check a quick glimpse of the Secret Agent Saturday, what I'm going to do is roll a very quick clip for you right now. Hey guys, it is Saturday, so we are back at the James Bond pick set and the H&H &H jackknife. Last time we had a Master 140 with 4 pins, 3 spools. Today we have a Rockford 6 pinner with 4 spools and 2 uh, standard pins. Thank you so much for checking out Lockmania. If you enjoyed that clip and you'd like to see more videos by him, what I'm going to do is put a link on the top here so you can check out his channel and consider subscribing. A few more things Lockmania mentioned this week are two channels that have about 30 subscribers, and I'd just like to bring your attention if you'd like to check them out. The first channel goes by Securing London Locksmiths. This channel doesn't have a lot of information on it when I look through it very quickly, but it does have a few videos dating back a few days ago. If you would like to check out this channel and see more, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll a very quick clip of it right now. Hello YouTube, this is an ERA 5 lever curtain mortise lock. Uh, I'm going to um, single lever pick this uh, lock open and, uh, and then I'll show you what's inside. Okie dokie, so let me show you the bitting. Reset. And we're open. Cool. Thank you so much for checking out Securing London Locksmiths. If you enjoyed the video that you saw and you'd like to see more by them, what I'm going to do is put a link up on the top here so you can check them out and consider subscribing. Another channel that Lockmania shared with me goes by the name Alex. This channel has about 30 subscribers and it has not made any videos in about 11 months. This channel has just started making more videos as of recently and I believe there have been two or three. What I'm going to do is share a very quick clip of this channel so you can check them out. Okay. Uh, so I got this weird, weird lock and I want to share it with you guys. Uh, I'm going to glaze over the act of picking it because it's fairly standard in terms of picking, which now that I've got it open, I'm a little surprised by it, to be honest. And also this one, the keys didn't have very crazy bidding or anything. Uh, this is apparently like the lock to like the back of an ATM or a cash box or something to that effect. There, there's a lot of questions I have about this, but it is made by a company called National Cash Register, and all the keys are marked Teller. Thank you so much for checking out Alex. If you would like to see more videos by this and get to know this channel more, what I'm going to do is put a link up on the top here so you can check them out and consider subscribing. Another channel that I'd like to share this week is going to be Dark Arts Lock Picking. Dark Arts Lockpicking shared that he had recently just reached 600 subscribers and is growing each and every day. He is doing some really great videos. He shared a really cool setup he made so he can transport all of his locksmith stuff with him for his locksport endeavors. And also he does a really great beginner series every Sunday. What I'm going to do is share a really quick clip of his channel with you right now. Guys, so got this little rim cylinder here. This one has got lock on it. it was sent in for that parcel from Southampton Lock Picking Club, and it's got some pretty good bidding. I must admit, uh, must be 
they said they were going to send one in to turn uh, some locks for me to turn into a challenge lock. But I grabbed this one down to have a look. And this thing refuses to stay locked. And I mean it refuses to stay locked. Thank you so much for checking out Dark Arts Lockpicking, also goes by D-A-L-P. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to see more content by him, what I'm going to do is put a link up on the top here so you can check it out and consider subscribing. And a few things I'd like to share if you happen to be new and you're starting to check out some really great channels for the first time, Lock Noob made a really good point at some of the great channels that were left out on the Top 30 Countdown. Some of them are Tumblr, who is a complete legend when it comes to picking locks, Lockman28, Baldy Locks, Red Cat Imaging, Daz Evers, Leon's Lockpad, Matt's Lockpick, and many more. I just want to say that that list was not created by me, but it was just a really fun thing to do. I just want to say thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you have any updates that you would like to see shared next week, as always, I highly encourage you to drop them in the comments section below, and I'll try very hard to share them next week. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please drop them in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day. And thank you so much for checking this out. Thank you.